I have a viewer request to do the body mode scan. Uh, today my daughter went to school with the tie dress, so I think it's a good chance to uh, do the full body scan. I will uh, be using the author in the body mode to scan. I never done this before. I'm not sure if I uh, repeat the front again, it will align. As you can see here, she moved her arms, so it, it will not align. So I need to redo this again. Okay, this is the second time. So the object has to be very still. Otherwise, uh, if she moves uh, during the scan, it could be an issue. So I think that if I just move myself in state. Actually, you don't need a turntable. Dress is long and it moves, but uh, this is the best you can do. I think done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so let's take a look here. Uh, this is a really long dress. There's a chance that uh, it moves during the scan. Right, let's try to process the point cloud. I give a recommend 1.45 millimeters. I think it's too rough. I uh, adjust it to one millimeter. So we have about two point three million faces, and uh, we have double wall here on the left because uh, her dress moves while scanning. Okay. The the most important thing is that um, you need to be sure that uh, your object is still during uh, during scanning, and uh, you have to do it quick. Uh, the longer it takes to scan, the higher chance that your subject will move. And you have like, uh, but this I can clean up. You have a uh, double walls with a foot here. Okay, let's see 
if uh, this can close, I put it uh, 2.5 million. Uh, the maximum is 2 million. I put it to the maximum. Close the whole, close the model. Okay, we have about 2 million faces. Face and hair look very good. Uh, I have to admit that the author, the body more, it scans the uh, body very well. I mean, if the subject doesn't move, uh, this one I can clean up in Blender. Uh, this one could be difficult to clean. Let's check if I can delete it. Surface selection. The dress probably moved while I was scanning. So you need to keep in mind that. And, uh, I'll see if uh, if the bender can uh, remesh and close up all the holes here. I send it to bender. See the the part that has an issue is the part that can move a lot, like the the end of the dress here. When exporting the files to Blender, I recommend to do it in OBJ because if you export in PLY, there's gonna be a lot of problem with the compatibility. I scale it to zero point zero zero one. Move the object to the origin and then I need to rotate it. I move it up here. Hit N. The height of the model is 1.38 meters. You can change it to a centimeter here. Centimeters. Okay. 138 centimeters. We put it in the uh, edit mode. Okay. I think uh, if you can, you should uh, rescan the model. It's faster than fixing the models. I will just uh, delete all the side here. It has a lot of. Uh... Okay, we'll exit the edit mode. Uh, turn off X lays. I will then uh, generate and choose rematch uh, smooth 10 arc 3 dev is 10 ok now they choose the close up close up the surface here now we have uh, about uh, 2 million faces I go to scalping mode uh, hit S for smoothing. I will try to smooth here if it will help. Okay, it's better now. See, double wall is, is very difficult to fix. You can't fix it. The uh, upper part look good, no problem. The lower part of the dress move. So I don't think uh, that is a technical issue. Uh, Overall, it's uh, easy to scan. You should uh, pick a dress that doesn't move during the scan. Turntable is not necessary. It's better to scan without a uh, turntable because the turntable will cause the subject to lose their balance and they will tend to move their hands. So if you have a double, double wall like this, uh, rescan would be the best solution faster than fixing by a uh, post processing uh, tell your subject try to tell your subject to stand very still during the scan uh, try a uh, tighter cloth uh, loosened cloth will cause the double walls problem okay thanks for watching i see you in the next video